folks, Mikey Bly here, and uh, today we're gonna chill out, we're gonna relax a little bit, and we're gonna move, because that's one of the most chilled out relaxing things I can imagine doing. Uh, it's Moving Simulator. Now, I don't think it's as basic as literally just carting loads of stuff from a, from a house or an apartment into a truck. I think there's probably some story in the background to probably each item, which I'm looking forward to going through someone's knickknacks, basically. I'm really curious to know what this person's moving, so I want to I want to move it for them, or help them move it at least. All right, cool. What am I doing? Do I need to click on stuff? Oh, I do need to click on stuff. Cool. Let's do this. Used with care. I hold this one when I'm lonely, and I call him Mark. Well, that's nice. Good old Mark. I mean, why wouldn't I want to keep my pillows? I need my pillows. I, I need pillows to sleep on, right? I mean, why would I get rid of that? I'm going to keep the pillow. Why wouldn't I keep it? Wait. Oh. Oh, so there's one good pillow, one bad pillow. Let's ditch the shit pillow. Who needs shit pillows? The smell still lingers. Oh, no. Did we break up with somebody? And does this pillow still smell like them? I mean, that's a tough one, you know. Gotta let it go, man. Gotta let it go. What about the bed itself? Wait, it's been one th that's a scary thought, isn't it? Isn't it a scary thought that you spend so much of your life in bed? I'm like, I wish, I wish we could just not need to sleep. Because I really wouldn't, I'd ditch it. It's... But if it was still something that was pleasurable to do, because I'll be honest, sometimes curling up in bed is really nice. So, but if it was optional, just like, I could do with a little bit of bed right now, but not a necessity, I'd love that. I want to utilize more waking time. I'll, I'll get up as early as I bloody can in the morning so I can get stuff done. I'm one of those weirdos. <laughs> I'd rather be out bed early than in bed too late. But believe me, I can stay up late if I need to. I really can. Um, so anyway, we've got to keep the bed. Too many sleepless nights in this old thing, but it's good to have a lot of space to toss around in at least. Are they sleepless nights because it's uncomfortable? Or are they sleepless nights because it reminds us of our, I'm assuming, relationship? That's the question. That's the important question. Can we afford a new bed is the actual question. Ah, in my eye. If we let it go, just have a pillow on the floor. And to be honest, I have had worse sleeping arrangements than that, but I don't know what our money situation is. So I don't know if it's worth, I don't think we can afford to get rid of the bed. Might be a bit too risky getting rid of it. Get rid of it. Let's just assume I've got some money. So can we click on literally everything in this room? Chaos is what killed the dinosaurs, darling. Oh! Heathers! Heathers! But I think it says feathers instead of heathers. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I love Heather's. What a great film. One of my favourite musicals. I love the song that frees your mind. And we listen to it far too many times on repeat in the car or in my bed. Definitely a cult classic. But wait, maybe it is something called Feathers and I'm just assuming it's a rip-off of Heather's. Is there something called Feathers? Is there? Is that a thing that I missed out on somehow? Something for me to look up later. But here's the thing. I don't think we need the poster, okay? I think we can let the poster go. Oh, 14, was this meant to be uh, room, what was it? What was it, room 1421 or something? Best books are those that tell you what you already know. I think I can get down with that attitude. Oh wait, I thought I clicked on the poster, but for some reason it showed me the keyboard. I want to try something new, so I bought a used keyboard online for my allowance savings when I was 14. Oh, I've had it for a while then. It's still working. No keys broken or anything. In the end, I never learned how to actually play it properly, but maybe I will someday. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. If you're starting a new life and you're doing something new and you're being all new, maybe you should actually learn how to play it. Maybe taking it with us will inspire us to actually learn it. I don't want to throw away a good musical instrument either. Okay, so I thought I'd clicked on the poster. I did. Yeah, okay. Who doesn't love it? Oh, it's better be 1984. 
Who doesn't love a dystopian classic with political commentary? It's the first book I actually fell in love with, and I've reread it so many times. It's ridiculously immersive and famous for a reason. I I love 1984. I really do. I really like it. Um, I studied it in English class at school. Uh, we were studying dystopias and utopias. So we, we read 1984 and we read Brave New World. Uh, and the funny thing is, of course, Brave New World is meant to be a utopia, but it's still, like, n not. It's perfect, but it isn't. So it's that striving for a perfect society, but making it not quite right, versus being, like, forced into an oppressive, living an oppressive, under an oppressive regime. It's both of those far out aspect. I really, I, I loved it. I love English. This is my favourite subject. I love, well, literature speci specifically. I love literature. And I was at university too. One of the only courses I actually passed, courses, one of the actual only modules I passed at university was a literature based one. Uh, and we had to, the reading materials were um, Pride and Prejudice. Don't like Jane Austen. I'm sorry. I just don't, just don't like it. Uh, and um, Mrs. Dalloway. By Virginia Woolf. So I read Pride and Prejudice. It's the first time I'd actually sat and read it, but I said no. And then I read Mrs. Dallow. I was like, I'd much rather write my essay on this. And that was the thing. You, you could pick which book to write about. I wrote about Mrs. Dalloway. Got a really good grade on it. So I just, I guess I just jive well with weird minded people. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Anyway, sorry, that was a lot of waffle just for a poster about a book. I don't know. I think I like this poster though. So I think I'll keep that one. Why is it still there? Okay, that's fine. It's still there, but we keep it. Oh, it's still there because we're keeping it. I'm an idiot. Sorry. So, so far we've got a pillow and a dystopian poster. And a, oh, and a keyboard, which for some reason did disappear. I don't know what happened there. Um, oh man, it's my funky lava lamp. I thought that's a fucking lava lamp for a second. This used to be cool once. I almost cry. Whoa, God, word, yeah. Okay, we were talking about baby cool kid had. Oh gosh, want to fit in? Okay, I I don't know what the hell. I didn't pick an option. Wait, wait, I'll try and read it. Wait, wait, I'll try and read it. This used to be cool once. I almost cried when begging my parents because every cool kid had one. I guess I just wanted to fit in, especially since we always something, something. Yeah. That's a bit of an unfortunate glitch, but I know this first sentence kind of swings it for me. This used to be cool once. Let it go. Get rid of it. I don't. I love lamps anyway. I don't trust them. I don't. Don't. I don't. Don't. Don't want one of those weird hot things in my house. An ironic mug. What does it say on it? Chris gave me this for our three-month anniversary. It's the closest I have to a favorite mug. I learned a lot about myself from that time, and I don't feel any resentment for how it ended. It's been so long since we talked. Again, how much sentimental material do you want to keep hanging around? Can we rotate this any faster? I want to... No! Oh, wait, maybe let's... A yawn is a silent scream for coffee. Get rid of it. I don't mean smash it. Just <laughs> chucks it against the wall. That's not what I said. Oh, well, when we said let go, you literally like... Just, just let it, just, just let it, just drop, right? Okay, cool. That's fine, I guess. Um, my little nightstand. This might be a handy thing. A tiny table for tiny things. Uh, there's not much that can fit onto it, but it's convenient to be able to put whatever on it before falling asleep. Everybody needs one of those. This is one of the most useful items you can have lying around in a bedroom area. So keep it, for sure. Not getting shot of that. Um, like a little post. Oh my god, every single item on the pin board? Really? A crude childhood drawing? Oh, oh, joyous. For my second time moving. I don't remember those other two kids. Two other kids. They were probably my classmates or something like that. Funny how moments of people that seem so significant at the time are sometimes so easily forgotten. Do we need to keep a little picture like that? Again, it just seems like this is hanging on to things for the sake of hanging on to things. This game might be good for me, actually, because I'm one of those people who hoard stuff left, right, and bloody centre. So maybe playing a game like this will help me to let go of stuff that I've actually got. I might relook at some of the stuff I've got and think, do I really need this? Get rid of it. It's a picture. Some old sheep music. Oh, well, if we're keeping the keyboard, keeping the sheep music might be a good idea. Oh, I wrote this song after finally getting some real friends. Someone I could really let my guard down around at my former school. 
I never got the lyrics though. Never got to the lyrics. I was gonna say, you never got the lyrics, you wrote them. Um, okay, so uh, keep that. Keep it. With the keyboard, we can maybe put some like good words to it and make a little tune. Keep it. We don't have to click every post-it, do we? Okay, thank you. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be like every post-it, no. It's my corkboard, also known as my personal assistant. Again, very handy little thing to have, especially behind your computer here. I'm pointing at my wall here, but I have, haven't actually got a board on my own, but it would be great for me to actually plan stuff out. Maybe organize my life a little bit. Can I have that one? Dude, if you let that corkboard go, can I have it? Just send it to me. Just I'll pay postage. Yeah, I could do with one. I wouldn't have gotten anything done if I didn't write it down. It even has a note saying, pack your things. It also provides emotional support by having generic inspirational quotes on it most of the time. Thanks, corkboard. Well, you're really selling it for me. It was already sold. Uh, but uh, yeah, keep it, I guess. I won't, I won't make you give it up. I won't, I'll just go get my own. It's cool. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. Some of this stuff seems a bit obvious to me. I mean, the laptop. Trusty but a bit outdated computer. Mostly use it for school, so there's a lot of old PowerPoints and essays here. I have a few games installed on it too, from my gamer days. Why wouldn't you keep a piece of electronic like that? Everybody needs a computer in this day and age. Keep it. The mouse. Oh, we don't need to click the mouse. The printer. Printers, however, maybe are not as necessary as they used to be. It's almost useless nowadays. Yeah, exactly. But some businesses and schools only accept physical copies of documents. So you might as well have one home instead of going to the library. It takes up a lot of space though. Get ditch it, man. Ditch it. I've got a printer sitting this door behind me. This this door here. It's a, it's it's laundry room. You learn a little bit about my life every day, don't you? Well not really. Yeah, not really, you don't. Uh, I feel like you already know a lot anyway. But anyway, yeah, that, that, there's a printer hooked up in there, a wireless printer. I have used it about three times all year. I could have just done it at the library. I've done it at work. I mean I'm ditch it, man. Again, didn't mean break it. I meant maybe donate it or sell it. Someone's about to pay for it. There's the keyboard. I don't know how it thought clicking over here was me clicking over here. And that's my, did I move my cursor without realizing it? Yeah, that seems like something I would do. Um, okay, what's this, camera? Vintage Polaroid, you said vintage and straight away I'm like, oh, well don't get rid of it then. I inherited this from my grandpa who was a photographer. The pictures usually didn't turn out that well since I didn't understand the settings, but they capture the moment with their own unique charm and aesthetic. So, not only is it vintage, it's a, it's an heirloom, really. I know it's an electronic thing, and usually heirlooms, you, you assume them to be like... Furniture and stuff like that, but that's, that's... Come on, that's a, that's a pass down from generations thing. You keep that, you don't get rid of that. What's this, a pile of art or something? Oh, so my favourite... Oh, they're records! Oh, cool. One of my favorite vocalists, oldest bands <clears throat> from the early 2000s. Nice to see how people in their style change over time, like a small reminder that you'll figure yourself out eventually. It's an underrated classic in my opinion. Uh, makes me think of Bright Eyes and all the different stuff Conor Oberst, Oberst has done over his career. I'm sorry, he was the first person that came to mind for some random reason. Um, I do love me a bit of bright eyes, to be honest, and like all of Connor's full of stuff and his, um, I can never pronounce the bloody name of them, Desperacy, Desperacy, the other band he had, I'm sure he's got more than that too, but yeah, I, I, I'm with you there, and to be honest, records are one thing I definitely don't like getting rid of, I, or CDs, I've still got a bloody rack of CDs, who still has that kind of thing nowadays, me, that's who, I, don't, there's, there's, I, I like moving with the times quite a lot, like, I, don't get me wrong, all of these CDs are also ripped. I have them electronically. But it's just I don't want to get rid of the... Because the CDs themselves have a life to them, you know? And I like the inlay cards. The, especially the old school. The old school inlay cards that have all the song lyrics and the thank yous and stuff in them. See, it's just... I, I, there's something about ownership. And we call it selfish. Because of the materials. And, you know, I've got, I'm trying to be more self-conscious about that kind of thing. Which is why I mostly just buy, like, second-hand CDs rather than brand new ones, but you know, now and again, I'll still treat myself to a brand new one. There's some Star Bomb in there and some Ninja Sex Party. Um, how my tastes have evolved over the last few years. Um, but yeah, it's just the ownership. I've got DVDs and Blu-rays actually upstairs too. It's like, and, and physical books, actual books. I, I can't do e-readers. It's just the way I am, right? So when it comes to this, 
I'd keep it. Long story short. Um, stool? A simple foldable chair. I mean, that's easily replaceable, isn't it? If you want to get something a little bit better. I sit on this when I'm not sitting on my bed. It's a bit unstable, but it was a bit unstable. Just like me. Um, but that doesn't mean you should keep it. Uh, I think you should get a better one. Get one with a backrest, man. I mean, I've got a backrest on this thing, but I never actually bloody use it. If I used it, I'd be back, like, back here. Man, that would be totally weird. Uh, anyway, no, ditch it. Get something better. Totally possible, I'm sure we get something better than that. Okay, let's move on to the actual desk itself. What the heck? Oh, we can open the drawers. Oh, God. It's a sketch of a tattoo I wanted when I was 15. How did I even click on this? Is it in the drawer? I'm so glad I didn't get that tattooed. There was a tattoo parlor here that would ink miners, but they got shut down due to uh, health and safety reasons. Probably for the best. Yeah, it does sound like the kind of place that uh, is a bit sketchy. Uh -huh. Sorry. I was trying to make a joke, but I don't know if it came off. Anyway, get rid of it. Tattoo sketch, get rid of it. You can easily re-sketch something, I guess. So yeah, I think it was in the drawer. I just clicked on it before I opened the drawer. Is there anything in these? No. So I don't, can I not click on the desk itself? Guess not. Guess we can skip to the plant. My lovely plant, Herbert Junior Ju Junior Junior. Grown from offcuts. Herbert Junior Junior has somehow survived three years with me. I genuinely don't know how. The point itself is kind of new though, after a uh, certain incident. Hey, plants are always good. Having some greenery in your house slash apartment, always a good thing. I Never mind to keep anything alive myself, but I've got a succulent that's been on the go for more than a year now, which I'm very, I mean, shocked and impressed with myself for. I, I'm over the moon. I haven't given it a name, though. Maybe I should do that. I had two, but uh, one d didn't quite make it when I had to repot them. But the one is still going really good, actually. Very proud of myself. So, in honour of that fact, keep the plan. What is this, a torch? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Is it a torch or is it something else? Oh, shit! Thanks for helping me through sleepless nights and anxiety, old friend. You'll never realise how much you help me because you're inanimate. Regardless of how much I use you, you remain inanimate. I mean, it says thanks for helping me through sleepless nights and anxiety, old friend. Helped. It's like past tense, so do we not partake anymore? It might be nice to keep it as an ornamental thing. You've got to have some decorations in the house, even if they're drug paraphernalia. To be fair, mostly legalised paraphernalia nowadays, so it's kind of clear. Keep it. Keep it, just in, just in case. I'm not condoning. I'm not condoning, if, if, but that's what you do, you do you. Fine. I'm not going to judge anybody. Right. Okay, another one. Oh, another one. I should have clicked the one next to it first then. He would have just said a snow globe. Oh, it's kind of pretty though. But snow globes seem such an odd thing to have just two of on a shelf. Ah, um, what? Do we need snow globes? That's my own personal opinion speaking right there. I'm just not a big fan of the thing. It's a pretty snow globe with artificial snow. Because I went to the Eiffel Tower. Souvenir from the time I travelled to France by myself. Lovely. I lived at a crappy hostel for two weeks and barely had any money. But God, was it nice doing what I wanted. And only thinking of myself for once. When I was a kid, I thought these had actual snow in them. Let it go! This one didn't smash. It was just bounced off the floor. Might have had thicker glass than the other one did. The bin! Nothing more, nothing less. Try to store it here, so it won't end up on my floor. A great human invention. Well, you always need a bin. I don't see why you would get rid of the bin. We're, I'm assuming we're chucking some of the stuff in the bin. So get rid of the bin means it would go on the floor. See? That's using smarts. I see a reservoir dog to rip off. Was that a damn setup or what? <laughs> a colourful guys. One of my favourite Tarantino movies. It's just so well executed and has a very unique style. Yeah? An amazing director. Maybe want to pursue the arts of filmmaking, but uh, in the end, I didn't have the courage. I'd keep a I'd keep a colourful guy's poster if I had one. I mean, I've got a couple of posters kicking around and a whole wall of comic book pages. If I moved, though, this wouldn't move with me. I wouldn't like spring the wall down. I, I I wouldn't painstakingly remove every page and then put them on another wall. 
Sorry guys, don't, don't get offended. It was a lot of work, you know. It was fun though, that was a fun thing to do. I might recreate something similar if I moved, but um, no, not this exact one. Uh, I do have a poster behind me too though. Well, nothing interesting though, just a Fallout 4 poster. But uh, yeah, so that, that's a good one. I used to have a Reservoir Dogs poster. Sorry, a colourful guy's poster when I was at uni, so good memories. What about these? My charming fairy lights. I find these tacky. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. Got these in a garage sale. Of course you did. Technically Christmas lights, but every day is worth celebrating if you're optimistic. Just get rid of them. Tacky. Tacky shit. Honestly. I, again, sorry, please don't be offended if you have lights. So I've noticed it seems to be more of a thing now. Uh, but no, it's not for me. And if this is meant to be me, or if I'm hovering over this guy's shoulder even, I'd be like, no, you get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of, you know. A tall, independent lamp that don't need no table. Yeah, those standard lamps are really good. How, how boring and grown up do I sound? Get rid of those stupid lights, but keep that lamp, it's very practical. I've stared at this lamp far too many times. When I'm upset, I kind of fixate my gaze at something arbitrary while thinking. My eyesight's probably damaged from staring too much at it. Well, if it's causing you health issues, but you still need some kind of light, unless you've got wall lights. But, you know, our living room upstairs doesn't have any, like, wall lights, like ceiling lights. So we had to, like, put a lamp in there. It's the first time I was like, I've actually been like, yeah, let's get a lamp. Because usually, like, what's the point of a lamp? It's a waste of floor space. But when you've got no lights built in, it kind of forces your hand a bit. Keep it, because you never know, you might not have wall lights. Ceiling lights, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, my old workout bag. It's, the phrase old makes me think it's not in use anymore. This one's getting a bit dusty. But it's got a lot of space in it and the design is pretty alright. Maybe I could use it for something else in the future. Even though I mostly think of my baseball days when I look at it. Baseball days weren't fun then. Bad memories attached to that bag. I'm sure you can get over it though. Anything that's a storage thing. It's not something you want to chuck because what are you going to do? Chuck it, but you still need to buy another storage thing at some point. So you may as well keep the storage thing you've already got. What is a cap? Huh, a cap with my old team logo from the baseball days. I was a pretty good pitcher, but I was only playing because my parents wanted me to. Kind of miss it since it gave me confidence, but I didn't like the competitive aspect of sports. Well, get rid of it then. If you don't like the competitive aspect of sports, and you don't want to think about sports, and if you don't wear it anymore, I don't like baseball caps, you know. This is just me grouching. This whole video has just been me complaining about certain things that I'm sure plenty of other people do like, but I just don't like baseball caps. I see like geeky ones now and again when I go to like some shops. I'm like, that would be pretty cool, but then like, but I don't wear baseball caps. And I think even if I had a geeky baseball cap, I still don't think I would wear it. Let it go, man. Let it go. Is that a traffic cone? Is that from a drunken night out? The legendary chef. Everybody who is anybody who has partied when they were younger has come home with a traffic cone. I think this is like a global thing. Blacked out right after I stole this. Woke up in my garden wearing a, uh, wearing a party hat. I have no idea why I did it, but it's kind of funny to look back on. When I was at uni, I um, the traffic cone thing was just such a deal. And like, I was coming back from a night out, and I was like, I'm traffic on, and um, the room I was in, so I was in a house with seven rooms in it, but it was like a house that had been like done out so it could like basically squish seven, seven students in it, so me and six other guys, it was insanity. Um, but my room had like a window, and when you open the window, it opened onto a flat piece of roof, like just a completely flat piece of roof, so I just kind of leaned out and stuck the corner out, out there. I don't know why, it's like, I think it was some kind of incriminating evidence and if someone saw it in my room, I could be arrested for it. I don't know, but it stayed there, <laughs> it stayed there until the day I left. And I was there for two years. Two, two good years. And you know, sometimes we just sit on that roof with a, with a beer. Not safe in any, by any stretch of the imagination, but when you're, when you're a student, you think you're invincible, you know. It's that, there's a certain age you cross when you suddenly start thinking, I should start being a bit more sensible. But uh, I don't think I hit that age until I was like 24, 25 maybe. <laughs> I'm still not 100% there, but I'm definitely a little bit more 
self-preservation based I used to be. Anyway, I'd keep that. It's a good little memento. Some mementos are good to keep. I didn't keep mine, so I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this guy keep his. What about the wardrobe? Oh. Oh, I guess we can't click on it to decide to keep it. Because I guess this is stuff that maybe stays in the apartment, maybe. Is there anything in here? Ooh, a surprisingly soft blanket. We might need that since we chucked the bed out. Another housewarming gift. This one from our current neighbours. It literally keeps me warm in my house. I appreciate that. Well, you've sold that one pretty well. Not going to get rid of that then. Seems a bit... Oh, the closet. You can't click on it. Where my clothes come out every day. No wonder people used to say my clothes look gay. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, where my clothes come out. Ha 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 ha. Sorry. Oh, it was a pun. I didn't realise it straight away. I think there's a little pocket dimension in there somewhere. Because some of my clothes keep disappearing. It's the clothes fairy. It's fine. You just have to leave a sacrifice every now and again, otherwise they start stealing your skin instead. Do you not know this? Is this news to you? Oh. Well, that's the way it is. Keep it! It's a very handy, useful thing. So maybe you must be able to click on this desk somehow then. Uh, I'm trying, but maybe you can't. Oh! Oh, is it more records? Oh, right, okay, the clash. Um, I loved the band so much when I was 14 and had to project my teen angst in some direction. In hindsight, they were a bit edgy, but it meant the world to me when the entire band signed the album after the concert and gave me very brief hugs while I was a blushing mess. Yeah, I can imagine that would be totally embarrassing. They said, don't meet your heroes, but usually that phrase means don't meet them because you'll be disappointed. For me, it would be like, don't meet them because you'll be like, hey, we to kill your problem. <laughs> Keep it. So I have to, have to look at all the records. Oh, oh, Joy Division, I'm assuming. That's maybe Joy Division. Something nice to listen to mellow and slow tunes after taking a few hits and lying in bed. Just daydreaming. Letting your thoughts drift while you're carrying it into the world. Maybe it's not, then. Mellow and slow. I mean, some of Joy Division songs are like that. But keep. Is that it? Oh, the desk. There we go. A surprisingly spacious desk. Well, this seems like a silly thing to get rid of, too, to be honest. Technically, just a big table. For both big and small things. It even has drawers for more disguised storage. Well, keep it. Again, it's a storage unit, and it's something to put stuff on. So it's, you keep that. You keep the practical stuff. I think that's everything. Pretty sure I've clicked on everything. And I don't know what I was expecting. We did the keyboard by accident. Is there anything else in the closet? Doesn't look like it. We must have packed our clothes already. I think this is it. I can't, there's nothing else to click on. Oh, the shelf. So the good old bookshelf. Damn it, and you click on the shelves. It can also be used for storing other items. Very versatile, keep it. Keep the shelves. Just keep the shelves. Yeah, keep them. Oh! This is what we're keeping. We've got a blanket and a pillow, so it's good. Fine, we've got rid of the bed, but we've got a blanket. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, that's everything we need. Well, that was very cool. That was very... You know what? That was nice for what it was. Just like a little a little trundle through someone's personal effects. And actually, I legit think that might help me if, it ever, if we ever move. I don't want to anytime soon. It's too much upheaval. I've, I've moved too many times in the last few years. I said the last few years. We've been here for three. But before that, there were so many moves. So it's nice to just be like... That's my preparation, though. If we ever do uproot... I'll, I'll, I'll think about things in this kind of overly practical way. Boring way. I'll keep some out there things, for sure, like I did here. But some of the stuff is just like, no, ditch it. The bed might have been a bit of a biggie. We can get a new bed, though. New place, new bed. I think that's a good thing. The furniture and stuff? No, fine. Take some of the furniture with you. Anyway, I don't need to overthink it now because we're done. We let go. We finished. That's it. We've moved. Okay, if you want to move as well, I will pop a link to this in the description below so you can go and let go of some things yourself. This is very nice. Nice relaxing experience, you know? Yeah, enjoy that. All right, cool. Uh, if you have any other experiences you think I should try game-wise, uh, stick them in the comments below for me. Or you can Facebook me or tweet me. Or if you just want to generally chat, you can do all that stuff too. Alrighty, I have been Mikey Bly. I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning. Afternoon, evening, or night. I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.